One thing that you mentioned earlier on, actually a few times you've mentioned it, is just the customer relationship Mm -hmm. and customer service. Mm -hmm. So how do you make sure that that gets attended to, you know, while balancing what is sometimes an adversarial relationship with our tenants? With the tenants. Well, we walk sort of a fine line between the owners that we do agency management for and their properties and the tenants that that are our customers. They're not our clients. The tenants are the customers. And that fine line is the balance between good customer service and making sure that the tenant is uh, is uh, responsible, you know, for their uh, side of the deal, their side of the contract. And we do hold them responsible, but we also find times where there is a customer service or a gray area where uh, we don't know how that damage got caused. We we don't know that it was, uh, for example, there previously. Documentation says it probably wasn't. Uh, the tenant obviously would not have caused damage like that intentionally, and otherwise, you know, it's a three hundred thousand dollar home with great great tenants, and they're so. Sometimes you have to use your judgment as a property manager, and the result of good customer service to a tenant is longer tenancy, uh, less turnover, less vacancy between tenants. You have a better pool of tenants, a better reputation for supporting the tenants, and. The bottom line is the owner ultimately is served uh, a huge benefit, and that benefit is long-term tenancy with responsible adults. And I think most of our owners, in fact, I would say almost all of our owners get it. The ones that don't usually will uh, let them go and they can go find another management company. But that's so important because that is going to impact your cash flow way more uh, than trying to nickel and dime uh, a tenant or trying to... Uh, withhold a security deposit, for example, that's 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 excessive or overreaching. You know that kind of uh, service comes back to bite you, and so you don't want to do it. And I think b- the bottom line is that the cash flow, even with our fees, are going to be way better. An owner, uh, instead of representing themselves as a DIY landlord, can hire a management company, and the goal would be to hire the best management company because with that longer term tenancy, our average tenancy is a little over three years, about 3.4 years. And if you go to a discount management company, they may save you 10 or 20 bucks a month in management fees, but the bottom line is their average tenancy is gonna be about 1.2 years. And you do the math. And if you're constantly paying leasing fees and turnover fees, and then have a month of vacancy between tenants, your cash flow is gonna be in the dumpster, uh, absolutely. And so you have to recognize that having a better management company is going to make all the difference and your long-term cash flow is going to be significantly better. Yeah, that's a great point. Want to hear more on this topic? Click the link below for the full episode of Maximizing Your Property Value.